Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be my wrap-up video to my reactions of the stuff coming at Comic-Con. Uh, there was a ton of stuff, obviously, that came out. Uh, I'm going to start with a lot of the big stuff. The big Avengers panel was held today, and uh, there was some interesting things. I know I did already did a, uh, an Avengers speculation. I'll hold off on doing another one until probably at least we get a trailer or some screenshots. But I will pick up on some news. Uh, Hulk is definitely in it, and Mark Ruffalo is going to be playing him, uh, not Edward Norton. We'll see how this is. If he does a good job, okay. The Hulk is one of those characters that everyone plays once and doesn't do again. If he does a bad job, damn it, they should have brought back. Uh, but uh, another interesting thing, um, no roadie, no... no Apparently, I don't. He, uh, neither Terrence Howard, or or Don Cheetah, uh, was at the panel. Does that? I mean, he could still show up, but that's kind of indicating that, uh, you know, War Machine might not be a big part in the uh, Avengers film. It is the Hawkeye, though, is, which I had heard that rumored, and I thought. Uh, that sounds like fans hoping for something, because he hasn't had a movie yet. Now, I thought for sure they weren't going to do anybody in the Avengers uh, besides the villain who wasn't already in a movie. But uh, to my surprise, they announced that Hawkeye was going to be in there. So I'm going to be interested to in see how they do, because this is really a one character we have no idea how they're going to play, uh, since we don't have anything to establish him with. Uh, who knows, maybe he'll show up in... Uh, Thor or Captain America first, but uh, we don't know. Speaking of Thor, uh, they did release the trailer as I suspected they were going to for Thor. Uh, I have not seen it yet, but strangely enough, the audio is all over the internet. <laughs> Apparently, Marvel or Disney is not bothering to take down the audio from the uh, from the trailer. Uh, probably after a week or two, when they're not as aggressive in enforcing stuff, and when it's already already been leaked, they'll probably have the uh, trailer. We can You can probably find a trailer all over the place, so hopefully we'll see that so I can get a good judgment. And they apparently also showed, showed some clips of uh, Captain America, although we're not sure if it's clips or was it just test footage that they did. But uh, from what I read, somebody said they saw Tommy Lee Jones in it. Interesting. As a, as a colonel. Very good casting there. Is I guess his handler or someone, and people have been saying it looked good, and Hugo Weaving is definitely confirmed. He was there promoting and talking about you know him getting into the Red Skull outfit, and apparently there was some footage of him as Red Skull before uh, he transformed into the Red Skull, and apparently he doesn't actually like Hitler that much, according to Hugo Weaving. Whether that's like a character thing he made up, you know, because actors add stuff to their character that's not on screen. Or it's actually part of the plot. We don't know yet. Uh, oh, yeah. One other thing with Thor. Uh, when I did the Thor breakdown, I said I noticed something on Odin's right eye. I wasn't sure if it was part of the background or not. There's a better screenshot out now. Odin has an eye patch. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess why. Check why DM and D. I guarantee you somebody's going to put a pirate hat and a parrot on him and make a mem. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he, that was a, uh, that was an eye patch that wasn't in the background. Uh, another, f oh, this is, this was hilarious. The, uh, Westboro Baptist Church, this basically is a group of crazy people. It's mostly just one big giant family controlled by one guy. Uh, they, you've probably heard about them before. These were the group that was protesting soldiers' funerals. Uh, and it basically pissed off everybody. Like, the far left and the far right universally condemned them, and now the nerds are at war with them. Uh, you gotta check uh, check out some of the footage uh, from those protests. Uh, the nostalgic chick was uh, nostalgia chick was there. She has a pretty funny video of it up at uh, thatguywiththeglasses.com. Uh, best... I love it how they protest... First of all, there was only four people protesting from the Westboro Baptist Church people. Uh, there's only like four of them and about, I don't know, a hundred <laughs> costumed Comic-Con protesters. Plus, there were other Christian churches there protesting against the Westboro people. So, 
yeah, they looked pretty minuscule when he actually got down to it. Uh, but the counter protest was uh, hilarious because they did the right type of protest with them. It's they everyone was there protesting different. God hates different things. God hates the rebels. <laughs> Star Wars, uh, Star Wars guys. The best one is definitely uh, the Ben, the guy that dressed up as Bender, which he had a great Bender's costume, but he had a uh, his sign read "Kill All Humans." <laughs> that is right out of the uh, that's right out of the freaking uh, show. Great job there. Uh, and oh yeah, there was uh, uh, what was it? There was a Boba Pimp costume, which I was finding hilarious. Uh, I saw pictures and then I randomly saw the guy also on uh, G4 when I was watching the coverage. So, a pretty creative costume, I think. I I love it when they do the humorous twists on stuff. Uh, I was actually, and this is the other. Here's the other thing I want to get up. Uh, just my overall kind of an overall remark of uh, Comic Con was the surprising amount of game coverage and game news. I really didn't talk about it that much. Uh, because I'm naturally drawn more to the movie stuff, but I did, you know, I did talk about uh, Street Fighter versus Tekken. Normally, you don't hear too much game news at a Comic Con because a month earlier is E3, so all the big stuff is normally already re released at Comic Con, or, or at E3, I should say. Uh, maybe you'll get some follow-up booths. I mean, you expect booths and stuff, but there was a lot of announcements. You had the Mega Man Universe, which had a a, a very fun claymation trailer for I have no idea what it's involved with, whether it's kind of a larger uh, kind of Capcom universe type, almost like maybe a Kingdom Hearts, because Ryu is there, the guy from uh, Ghost and Goblins was running around in the trailer. Uh, who knows? But I'm surprised by the amount of game coverage and game news that was coming out at Comic-Con this year. Uh, it almost seems like some companies are proud. This is going to be like a double hit because they know so much stuff's going to be at E3. They're going to purposely save stuff for Comic Con so it gets bigger news, but that can maybe backfire because a lot of stuff comes out of Comic Con. Uh, there was a few other movies. This movie, Priest, looks f uh, somewhat interesting a post apocalypse revenge f flick with vampires. Uh,. It might be fun. I, did, I, I haven't seen the full trailer, but I have seen a lot of people talking about it who were there and said they were impressed, so I'll have to keep an eye out on that one. Uh, overall, I will have to say, though, I'm noticing very few trailers coming out of Comic-Con this year. Uh, I remember last year when they did uh, Tron. That was up, like, the day after. And there was always a ton of, you know, fan videos of the stuff, this year I'm not seeing anything, anything come out. The only thing I saw, the only full trailer I actually have seen, was the straight to DVD uh, 30 Days a Night trailer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not a whole lot of impressiveness there. Uh, there was some additional talk today from they had the Resident Evil Afterlife uh, panel. I haven't watched the full video from that yet. It's I didn't hear anything really big. They, there's some talk about the 3D they're using, uh, which I've already talked about, so no real need. Um, Cowboys vs. Aliens, that first picture came out uh, with Daniel Craig holding like a laser of some sort. This is the concept of that. This, this is a surprise one. This is the first I really heard of this was yesterday, and <laughs> wow. Uh, I love the concept. Hopefully that'll be good. I mean, Harrison Ford's in it, so come on. Uh, other than that, I think I'm pretty much covered. There was, of course, a ton of comic news, but I, I really don't follow comics that closely. There's like two or three comics I will occasionally pick up. Occasionally, like once every two months. So, not a whole lot of news coming from there. I mean, there's there's a whole bunch of little tidbits but there's no real need to go in every single one. Really, this baby really you shouldn't be relying on me for news and information from Comic Con. I didn't go there this year, so maybe the New York Comic Con if I have the time and the money. But for now, signing off.